Hello, everybody. Chad Lubin, Cross Country Mortgage. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Welcome to your weekly market update. Uh, we've had a good week as term as far as mortgage bonds and uh, the rallies within them. I'll share the charts with you in a second. Uh, we're waiting on the election outcome. Uh, looks pretty divided. Looks uh, very split down the middle. Um, I think gridlock is something the markets don't like, but knowing the outcome of what it's going to be is even better. So you probably won't see much movement today. I'm shooting this on Wednesday. Uh, tomorrow is where you'll see a lot of movement. The Consumer Price Index report is coming out. This report measures inflation year over year for our country. Uh, and obviously, that's the big buzzword. Uh, you hear it a lot in these elections. Uh, abortion and in inflation are the, the two hot topics. Uh, so when it comes to inflation, it's a year over year number. So inflation started peaking its head uh, October last year. That's when we started to see the run up. So the numbers up until October 2021 were low. So what's happening is November, or October 2022, that's the number that comes out on uh, Thursday, November 10th, replaces November, or excuse me, October 2021. Well, the uh, last month was September, obviously, uh, and September 2021 had a low reading. So there, we're starting to see that there's a chance that inflation has leveled off and hit a ceiling and that it will start to come down. So if it does, the markets look prime for a reversal. They're just waiting for some good um, and positive economic news. You saw it with the Fed meeting minutes earlier this week. Uh, the markets rallied really quick. We locked in a ton of people right after that report because we saw a reprice for the better. It's the best interest rates we've seen in uh, uh, about three months. Uh, so we took advantage of that. We relocked a ton of our clients' um, loans lower. Uh, we locked in a bunch of people that we had recommended to float. I am a mortgage bond expert. I will help you with this uh, throughout your transaction. So um, the November 10th report is just what we've all been waiting on. So um, you just see the markets prime for some positive news. We're hoping and praying that we'll get that on Thursday, or at least some signs that inflation is leveling off. And there's some good signs out there. Oil seems pretty contained. Rents are going way up. Uh, food prices are, are what the spotlight will be shadowed on. So oil, um, food prices, rent seem to be the headliners of this report. So we'll know Thursday, we'll either see interest rates way lower, or you'll see um, then go higher. Let me share the chart with you just to show you proof of what I'm saying. Um, so this ceiling, it's called the 25-day moving average. This has been a battleground for mortgage bonds. You can see every time we pop above it, uh, it, it reverses sharper. So up above is lower rates, down below is higher rates. So the highest interest rate in the last 15 years was October 21st. Uh, you've seen a nice rally since then. We locked in people here. This was the Fed meeting um, last week. So we got a ton of people uh, locked in here. Um, so we'll always protect you from these really, really bad levels, but also give you the opportunity to relock up in here. Uh, so we just popped our head above this 25-day moving average. Every time we pop above it, it will pull back. Uh, so you'll probably see it trade right around here today. I'm shooting this on Wednesday, uh, November 9th. And um, if Consumer Price Index report comes out contained and there's good news, we got a long way to run up to this line for some lower mortgage rates. So uh, fingers crossed, hope and prayers for lower mortgage rates. We need them. Uh, the housing market's still strong. I'm still seeing multiple offers. We're still using our 15-day closing. We're still using appraisal gap coverage to beat uh, cash. I'm hearing a lot of buyers say, I'm going to wait until next spring. Well, guess what? Everybody else is saying that too. And I agree, mortgage rates will probably be lower sometime below, between March and July. Um, but you have to remember, there's going to be more competition. That's going to drive up prices. I think if you have low down payments, I think definitely if you're renting, I think if you're getting down 
down payment assistance. Now's your time to get a home. Be aggressive on your search. Uh, these interest rates will come down. I'm predicting sometime around July of next year, between March and July, we'll see much lower mortgage rates. Fannie Mae saying four and a half. I think that's a little aggressive. So uh, I created and put out a meme out there of Elon Musk uh, coming into Twitter and taking everything out but the kitchen sink. It's a joke. It was meant to be funny, uh, but there was math ran behind it. It is better to buy a $500,000 home uh, for $30,000 less than it's being listed to for four seventy, dollars than some of the crazy buy-ups last year of a $500,000 place going for $600,000. Um, that's a $130,000 difference in price. So I got some pushback that, hey, those monthly payments are higher. Yeah, you're assuming that interest rates are going to stay at 7 to 7.5%. That's not going to happen. Um, if you look back to all the election years, uh, which 2024 will be, uh, the Federal Reserve Board has done quantitative easing to push mortgage rates lower. There's no reason to think this administration is going to be any different when they go to uh, re-elect Joe Biden or elect a try and elect another Democrat. So um, that's not a political statement. That's both sides of the political parties play this game. So we are very confident that mortgage rates will be much lower by 2024. Go get the home now. The lower prices are permanent. These interest rates are temporary. We're here to support you through this. Give us a call anytime. 312-731-4939.